This weekend, I went to an indigenous cultural performance and it was dancers and singers from high school, from my school. It was a great experience. I was able to just be in a community where, you know, all of us are united because there are so many different ethnicities there. I'm going to be writing out through my experience. I experienced what it was like to be there, but I want to bring you out with me on all these different occasions and things that I go to because it's about spreading the love and spreading this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful culture with everybody. Everybody. You can click back and watch whenever you want. And then bring the light of my people into the new age of social media. Y'all seem to love my TikTok. I made three different TikToks about me preparing for this event. Got ready. I took self-care. I wanted to make sure that I felt my best and I was at my best. Follow me on TikTok if you don't already. I post a lot of cool like snippets on there about my school, me getting ready for school, ready for indigenous events, talking about being indigenous. More of like a short, like fun, rhythmic way, you would say. So follow me on TikTok at Blessed Afro Indigenous, of course. I made sure to wear my high school stuff so everybody knew. The first dance was the Women's Northern Traditional. Pay attention and like kind of zoom in, you will be able to see the small, small, small beads, which shows how much time is really put into the smallest little, you know, things like the details of their outfits and then also the colors and where things are placed. And it's just all intention, which is the most beautiful, sacred thing. This first dance is about grace and the power of women and how whenever the men would leave to go wherever they went, the women were in charge to take care and be the protector and the provider for the child in the area. <laughs> this dance basically recognizes, embraces, and represents all of the strength of the women. Now, the second dance, it's called the men's grass dance. The dancers are representing the men that would put on sweet grass from the plains and go around the area to bless and cleanse it. Sweet grass is used in prayer in indigenous culture, and so basically tying it onto their outfits and going low to the ground, praying and dancing, they were basically clearing and blessing the area for whatever event or occasion they would be getting ready for. Then the third dance. I feel like the dance that everybody went crazy for because of how fast and intricate and big and colorful the outfit was and just something that we've never really seen before at least i haven't in person it's called actually i don't remember what it was called if you know what this dance is called let me know in the comments because i recorded the entire performance but i couldn't hear the mic correctly when he was saying the name but i do know what it represents so this haskell student is wearing double muscles which is on the back of his outfit and in the previous dance the men's grass dance they usually just wear one but in this dance, they wear two. It is very, very heavy. You literally have to be so physically fit. You have to be very active and have a high level of athleticism to do this dance. You know, it's so new that we haven't seen before that we all asked for part two. So here he is doing part two. We all been crazy. It was so much fun, so at the end we made sure to unite everybody in the round dance. As you see, I am about to go in and I met this person behind me and I want him to come with me because he was so excited about all of it and he was like contemplating whether he should like hop in or not and I was like, bro, hop in. So the round dance in hindsight is a traditional event and it brings all people together to heal, to honor, celebrate life, the life of our ancestors, to honor our ancestors, honor, you know, union and unity. I've only been in ones that go clockwise, but you can go in whatever direction and just the person that leads it, that's the way you're gonna be going. So I've seen some that have like the inner circle is going like counterclockwise or clockwise and the outer circle is going like opposite direction from that. Different things that you can do. You can hold hands, you cannot hold hands. First one that I went to, held hands, which was dope. I'm more comfortable. It's like it's uncomfortable at first in a way, but after that like small discomfort, it just shows you that like, oh, we're all one. How to do a round dance or how to be in a round dance is that you're using your leading foot and while you're doing that you're bringing the other one up so it's there's many different ways to do it but the fundamental and basic way is to sidestep and if this leg is stepping this one is about to come up hi okay that's sweet yeah I'll, I'll text I'll text him okay bye love you and you're basically doing that in a circle and you're moving to the drum of the beat to the rhythm of the beat or i guess the drum <laughs>
<laughs> and you're moving to the rhythm of the drum and you literally i've asked other people after the round dance and just after the entire thing is that the drummers drumming and singing their beautiful songs with so much so much soul so much energy and you have no choice but to feel it in your heart chakra you have no choice but to feel that thump in your heart i'm just so proud of my school i'm so grateful i'm so honored to be going to this school and my ancestors fought so hard to create for us and so proud of all the haskell dancers and haskell singers that were there at this event you know representing us representing who we are many people don't know about us and about our culture but you definitely will it is up from here and don't be surprised when y'all see us everywhere. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for coming to this event with me. Remember that there's only one love and universal consciousness that exists in everything and every one of us. And that there is no separation at all. It's an illusion. One love, universal consciousness, abundant unity, gratitude.